Known for their mutually beneficial relationship, anemones provide protection and shelter to which sea creature? Clownfish, seahorse, jellyfish, pufferfish. Okay, I really don't know this, so I'm gonna have to use a lifeline. Um, this might be the sort of thing the audience would know, so I'd like to ask the audience, please. Okay, audience, it's on you. Uh, get your keypads out, please. This is the question. Known for their mutually beneficial relationship, anemones provide protection and shelter to which sea creature? And if you'd all vote now, please. Right, so the clownfish has got 58%, seahorse 24 um, pufferfish 11, jellyfish 7. So there's a clear majority for uh, clownfish, but it isn't a massive majority. I'm wishing now that I'd seen the film Finding Nemo, because that's got clownfish in it. But I'm going to trust the audience. I'm going to go for a clownfish and hope that they're very intelligent. Fine answer. Well done, audience. Well done, you, for trusting them. That is the right answer. <laughs> yeah, clownfish uh, provide the anemone with nutrients and scare off potential predators. That's what they do. One lifeline down. So, safety net, 32,000? I am, yes. I'm a traditionalist, well, yes. Fair enough. So let's please set the second safety net computer at £32,000. Good, that locked in. Now let's see if we can get you there. This is the question that'll do it, we hope. The main stadium at Flushing Meadows, where the US Open Tennis Championships are played, is named after which player? Venus Williams, John McEnroe, Chris Evert, or Arthur Ashe? didn't know until the answers came up. And now that they're there, something's telling me that it's Arthur Ashe. But I don't know why I think that. And it is a lot to lose. It's 15,000 pounds is what it is. I think I'm gonna use a lifeline. I think I'm going to ask you, please, Jeremy. OK, here's what I think. The Arctic Ocean. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know, the funny thing is, I'm in exactly the same boat as you. It came up and I thought, I don't know this. And then Venus Williams was the first, and I thought, no, 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 it would have been named by, but long before mm. Venus Williams' time. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. So then I thought, Arthur Ashe. So I'm exactly the same as you. Something clicked, and I thought, it's Arthur Ashe. But it was only a little yeah. feather landing on a waist scale in my head. And I'm afraid that's all I can do. And that is my final answer. OK. I think I'm going to be brave and live with the consequences of my actions and say, Arthur Ashe, final answer. OK, computer, could you reveal the correct answer, please? Ooh. Well done. OK, here's my final question. Would you like to see more Who Wants to Be a Millionaire videos? Then click subscribe and you're guaranteed to win. Granted, it's not a million pounds, but it could be worse.